Hey there, this is Steve from Superior Sleep. Now that you've got your bed, let me show you how to set it up. First thing you want to do is make sure that you bring the bed in the box to your bedroom. And then make sure that the up, you see the up arrow here? You got to make sure that it's going to be pointing up. So this is where you want your box. Now once you have it there, then you can go ahead and take the box off. Now let me show you what you're going to see inside this bed. Now what you're going to see in here, this box right here is actually going to be your legs. So you want to take that box out. And then you see these orange straps? That's for the bar that's going to be holding your mattress onto the bed. So just take a knife or some scissors and go ahead and take that out. And this here is going to be your bar. And we'll show you how to put that on in just a minute. Now also under here, what you're going to see, so take a look over this way. I just want you to take it, everything's pre-assembled. You don't have to worry about it, but I want you to take a look and just make sure you see that everything is plugged in. Now you're going to see one plug that's not, and that's this one right here. And that's for your power supply. Now I'm going to be showing you how to hook that up in just a second. So that's it. Everything else you see down here is the way it's going to be. So here's what we're going to do now. We're going to go ahead and put the legs on. So go back to your brown box. You're going to open it up. And in here you're going to find a couple of things. You're going to find your legs, you're going to find your remote, and you're going to find the power supply. So let's start off with, and, and a little book. <laughs> the important book that tells you how everything works. Power supply is going to be in this box. Take it out. Now what you're going to do is find this cord. Now I want you to notice something on this power supply. One side has a little tiny hole, the other side has two big ones. This is your power cord. Just put it right in there. That's what you're gonna plug into the wall. Now on this side, do you remember I told you there's that one cord that's not connected? That's this one here. You go ahead and plug that into the other side of your power supply and just drop it right on top of your bed just like that. Now we're gonna get the legs. Now with your legs, you're just gonna screw them into the holes There's one. Now you have your choice. You can put them in the outside hole or the inside hole. You're gonna see there's two holes there. I'm choosing the outside right now, but you might wanna go on the inside. If you go on the inside, that means you can walk with your feet underneath. You're not gonna stub your toes, and that's pretty important too. But it just gives you the option right here. We'll stick the other two legs on the other side. Now again, you see those two holes, outside, inside. I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the outside. Oh, by the way, when you're looking in the bed like this, see down in here? Those are the USB ports. That's where you're gonna plug your phone or your computer in. And that's gonna be on the head of the bed. So to get to them, it's really easy. Just lift the head up, go ahead and plug your phone in, put the head down, run the wire underneath. Okay, so our legs are on. Our power cord is in. Now all we gotta do is take the bed out. Now I'm gonna show you the best way to do this. Take out these little spacers that are in the cardboard. Start with that. And then once you have the spacers out, I would just open up the cardboard right here, just like that. On both sides. Then the best way to do this is to step behind the bed. Now, if you have two people, two people is always best to be even easier, but since I'm by myself, I'm going to show you what I do. I hold the bed here in the middle, and I bring it up on its side. And then I want you to very carefully, very carefully, go ahead and lean it until the legs hit the ground. You do this very carefully. And then all you got to do from that point is drop the bed down. Now, one more thing. The only other thing that you've got to cut off, this is your lumbar support. Just cut those two things, pull all that away, and this is the bar that's going to be your lumbar support. All right, so now, we have the bed, everything is assembled, put it where you want it in the house. Remember that bar? Here's that bar I told you about. This is for your mattress. The very bottom. 
And there you go, that's all you need. Now it's all ready for the mattress. Now let's get the mattress. All right, now that we got our bed set up, now we're gonna do the mattress. So like all the mattresses nowadays, they all come in a box. So what you wanna do is just take a, a, a knife and cut along the top right here. And there's your mattress. Now you can either lift it out or you can pour it out, but then take it to your bed and put it on your bed. Now once it's on the bed, turn this until you see right here where that, you see where the mattress is joined together? And at that point, with some scissors, but do this carefully, you don't want to cut the mattress. So with the scissors, just go ahead and run your knife or your scissors down that, in between where that bed is rolled up. And you'll see that it's gonna pop itself out. Unroll it. We'll take off. Uh, and then we'll take the plastic out from here. And then, right here, once you open this up, the air is gonna hit that mattress. And when the air hits that mattress, it's gonna to start to, to fill up for you. And you're gonna see how fast this will do it, too. Or you can take some scissors and do this, either way. But as you can see, that mattress is already starting to come back to its natural size. And then you take the plastic off and your bed's set up. All right, and that is it. Easy peasy. Bed set up, mattress ready to go. Now all that's left is some sleeping. Thanks a lot.